So I'm at Herco UK in High Wycombe. I'm with Nick here. We're going to be talking about a new Herco lathe. Um, Nick, this was introduced recently, this TM8MI. What are some of the differences between this machine and its predecessors? Smaller footprint. Um, the sir, it's got a, its own direct dedicated servo now, so the machining of it is a lot more responsive. When you say the uh, own dedicated servo, then in w which area of the machine? So the C axis. So uh, essentially, when the C axis moves, um, the the servo is driving that C axis now. That'll be independent of the other servos that's driving the actual spindle. Okay, okay. And when we look at these machines, we always try and uh, highlight maybe some of the features like the power, the working envelope, the footprint, the control. Could you maybe give us some of the highlights of, of these new machines? Right. The main thing is the, the smaller footprint and the fact that it's got a 64.5 mil bore. So it's got a greater capacity. Okay. What about the control? Because this is new to the Herco lathes as well, isn't it? Uh, well, they've tried to bring it in line with the actual mills, um, so it's all conversational programming, So, and you, you can do the milling as, at the same time. And have you bought any things across from the uh, control and the software that you use on the verticals and your other machines to the lathes? Any features? Yeah, primarily you've got the recovery restart, estimated runtime, and concurrent programming. Power consumption, weight of machine, and general machine speed, have they changed? Uh, no, you've got 5,000 uh, RPM for your driven tools and 4,800 on your main spindle maximum. And then the options on the machines, um, Nick, is there anything you can add to them that people should know? The, uh, the machine is well equipped anyway, so really there's no need for any extra options.